All right, in this geek tip, I'm going to show you how to manage the Windows 10 virtual memory slash page file. Now, before we go any further, let me explain. There are two different types of memory in your computer. Uh, one of them is actually the physical memory, which is the random access memory, the RAM. It's actually a, uh, you know, the components, the, the actual uh, module, memory modules that are installed in your computer. And then there is the virtual memory which is essentially a expanding contracting file that sits on your hard drive. Um, what happens is if Windows runs out of RAM, random access memory, it will actually page out some of the processes in the RAM that are not being used. It will page them out to the actual hard drive if, <coughs> if need be. You know, when the, the, the process is called back into play, it'll be pulled out of the, the virtual memory back into the random access memory and vice versa. So, um, what we want to do is we want to optimize our virtual memory, uh, especially when it comes to systems with 4, 6, 8 gigabytes memory. We want to optimize that, uh, you know, uh, the virtual memory to to match or exceed the the random access memory so first thing we need to do is we need to actually bring up the uh, system page for the uh, computer so a couple of different ways of doing it real quick we can use the Windows logo key plus the pause key on the keyboard this will bring it right up bam just like that or we can actually right click on the start button and select system that'll bring it up too or we can use the third way really quick we can use the windows logo key plus x and then press y for system all right so now we're here we're at the the system page basically it tells us what we need to know well first we want to do is we actually want to take note of the amount of memory in the computer the system actually has four gigabytes memory it's running a 64-bit version of Windows 10. So, 32-bit versions of Windows requires one gigabyte of memory just for the operating system. 64-bit versions of Windows require two gigabytes of memory just for the operating system. So, in essence, we're only getting 50% of the available RAM for use with applications so we definitely want to optimize the virtual memory on this system so let's go first we're going to go to the advanced system settings bring up the system properties dialog box we want to go to the advanced tab we want to select on settings in the performance section we bring up the performance options we're going to select the advanced tab we want to go down to the virtual memory section and we want to click on change okay windows automatically manage that page file for all drives this is just default this is the way windows comes right out of the box so we want to actually change that out so now here's a little note for anybody who's running multiple drives say you have a solid state drive an ssd as the boot drive and then you have a platter based hard disk drive an HDD as a secondary drive you definitely do not want that the page file the virtual memory on the solid state drive whenever possible get it off of there you, it's constantly reading and writing to this file the page file the, the virtual memory and this can actually degrade the performance of a solid state drive so if you do have the dual drives the ssd and the hddd you definitely want to put your swap file over on to the hdd you know normally you would see like drive c drive d you'd select d and and change it this way so we want to deselect the automatic managing page file for all drives we're going to go here and we're going to click on custom size now we definitely going to need to utilize the calculation there is a known formula for configuring the virtual memory in your system let me go ahead and I want to bring up the calculator and I want to show you 
uh, if we take 32 times 32 this is actually one gigabyte it's actually 1024 megabytes and if you notice over here our initial size and maximum size are in megabytes so we have to go with megabytes so we made note of the amount of memory inside the system before we started it was four gigabytes so we're going to times 1024 by four all right so that's our total memory now the formula is our initial size you know base small size of things swap files ever going to be this, this virtual memory small size is one and a half times the amount of available memory so we're going to times this by 1.5 so our initial size is going to be 6144 all right now our maximum size needs to be three times the amount of the initial size so we're just going to times three so we're going to use 18 for 32 and we're going to click set all right now you can actually see up here our page file is going to be a minimum size of six gigs really you know when we look at it when we actually come right down to it it's going to be six gigabytes and our maximum is going to be 18 gigabytes so and that normally will actually bump up the performance on your your uh, system with you know a, a small amount of memory uh, systems with you know eight gigs yeah I definitely would tweak you get up to 16 24 you know 12 16 24 32 gigabytes of memory a lot of times you know you, you're not going to run out of RAM to use the virtual memory so it's six one half dozen another but definitely if you're running eight gigs or less definitely you want to tweak out the virtual memory so alright uh, for more geek tips or for the actual formula for configuring the uh, virtual memory size go on over to geeksinphoenix.com and uh, until we meet again have a great day